Hey, darling! If I've cut you while you're, you're eating your chibi crisps or your chuggy mubbins, make sure you hit that little locky loo down there in the bottom. It helps me out a great deal. Gatekeep, gaslight, gun tube. Gatekeep, gaslight, gun tube. Greetings and salutations, Reddit. It is I, Austin of the Vintage Concepts Warfare channel here today to talk about Ohio Gun Tube. Now, what is that, you might be asking? Ohio Gun Tube reminds me a lot of every random Midwest guy in the army I've ever known. Skinny, usually skinny, white blonde guy. Uh, he usually has like five baby mamas. Usually the white equivalent of dudes who go to street takeovers and get arrested uh, in their Nissan 350Zs. Essentially, I've realized that they kind of do own the market in determining what is grating and annoying unsafe behavior with firearms and what is generally entertaining and acceptable even if the outcome could have been dangerous. So I'm going to give you a set of examples. Now I want you to ask yourself, what was the more annoying and grating, uh, potentially dangerous thing to happen here and what was entertaining and the payoff was there. God, it's like so freaking loud. I don't know if you can hear this guys, but I'm not. Okay, I want you to take that one in. Now we're going to go into the next example. Blowing up a truck, so let's get a nice big explosion, maybe a little shrapnel going. Maybe a lot of shrapnel. All right, see, when you watch those two clips, one was drawn out, self-induced, so this guy didn't know what a cook-off was and didn't immediately rectify the situation. He let it keep going for clicks and likes and all that stuff. No payoff, really just watching, it's like watching a, a, a retard try to solve a Rubik's Cube, which maybe they can do that. I have Jester's privilege, I could say what I want. One of them you immediately know when he blew that truck up, it wasn't A, because of his lack of firearms proficiency or knowledge, and he immediately knew when that truck door almost killed him and maybe his camera guy. He, he, it was entertaining. There was a payoff. Thankfully, nobody died. But the point is, he immediately knew he, he messed up. And he had a smooth recovery. Are you seeing the difference? One, grating and annoying. Self-induced. Clear lack of firearms knowledge. The other one was just entertaining, but could have been very bad, but at the same time, not as gay. We understanding now? A second set of examples, okay? Annoying and grating, local guy. Not only does he upload really annoying scalp mill slop videos, but he's generally unsafe with firearms. As an example, here's a clip of him uh, just continuing to let a 1911 malfunction over a hundred year old gun 45 acp out of model of the u.s army 1911 made see how it shoots and let's see how it penetrates never mind let's try that again all right let's roll america here's another video of him almost starting a brush fire Oh, shoot. Today we're gonna shoot some Christmas tree rounds out of this AR-15 and some spray paint and see what happens. These candy cane rounds will definitely make this sucker go boom. Let's figure it out. Incompetence with a firearm, putting other things at risk other than yourself. It's grating, annoying, and it keeps going, okay? Are we understanding a difference here? Now here's a video of Brandon Herrera blowing, a, blowing up a gun Going hot.
definitely not breast milk. Now, what I want you to notice, okay, it is implied, first of all, a lot of you know who Brandon Herrera is. He's not an idiot. Um, he made that, and he, he probably just needed a longer cord. The problem was the, or not the problem, the, the issue is here, that video had a payoff. It was entertaining. Nobody really got that mad about it. Do you see the difference? One is grating and annoying. One, there's a payoff. It's not dragged out. Basically, what the crux of this is, is what you're doing, you want, you're trying, it's like you're trying to be whistling diesel with guns, but you know not even a fraction of what he knows about, like, trucks and all that other stuff, but, like, gun equivalent. You just have brain damage, okay? But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I just, you know, I, I thought it was funny, the Midwest phenotype, um, and... Yeah, also, uh, vote for your favorite female influencer in the Gundies. I think it'd be mad funny if, uh, if that somehow worked out or somebody had to complain about it. But I will see you in the next video. Later!